recording. Yes, we are. Hi everyone, it's Marissa, AKA Celeste Orchid, and today we're gonna to be talking about my wedding dress and how I made it. So one of the biggest things is that I finished majority of it the day of. I really wanna to talk to you guys about how important this dress is to me even though it was made with things that I previously had because I got engaged and we got married. That video is soon to come, so just hold on for that. Anyways, without further ado, I want to show you my wedding dress. Wait, so let me tell you, some of this footage is prior the day of me making it and then we'll fast forward after that fact. <laughs> Enjoy that part and I'll come back. I am working on my wedding dress for tomorrow. I look like crap, so. Okay, so this material is a white rosette and I have other materials underneath that I will show later. But so far I am planning to do a circle skirt. I'm using a pre-made pattern that I made on the rest of the fabric that'll be floor length. Um, I don't wanna add a train because uh, that's just unnecessary um, for this quick wedding. But it's gonna be a surprise. Oh my god, my makeup's left over. Um, so, anyways, yeah, we're gonna keep working on this. Please stay tuned. Measuring it out to be 36. I'm gonna follow the pattern of this diameter in the circle. I'm gonna use up the entirety of this fabric, but I'm going to cut around the flowers so it will look nice. Okay, let's not use a marker. I switched to a silver marker. I'm milking out every 36 that there will be. From where this dress marking is. Once I get one of them cut out, I'll be able to do the other. Using this as a pattern. I'm trying to let me do this as much as possible. Okay, I can't even see any other ones. Okay. 
So of course I'm just going to cut this part naturally and then this part is already done. Scissors. Here we are. Cutting this very expensive fabric. I was thinking about just doing a box A rectangle skirt, but I did I want this to flare more. So this I need to I do want to like capture the shape of the hemline so I might just like go around some of the flowers versus actually just cutting it straight so I have a very pretty area. It's going to take me a little bit more time but I think it'll be worth it in the end. If I don't like it I still have the extra cut out. And first part of the skirt is completed. So if I look at it here, it'll look like this when walking. So far it looks pretty good. I do like the fact that I cut around the flowers. I think that was such a good idea. I want to add more, so let's keep going at it. I've got three yards of this, so I am going to have a very full skirt and then I just need to make the bodice. I want to add gems inside the flowers so that it shines when I walk because I like shiny things. That's beyond the point. So let's just move up the fabric. I don't want it to get dirty, so that's why I'm doing it on this carpet versus not. Did I have a plan for this? No. This is actually supposed to be used for a cosplay, but I think I can still use it multi-tool for cosplay purposes. I will cut the salvage part off afterwards. But right now, this is me. For my sake and my child's sake. To see that their mother really loves their father. And to notice how hard she's going to work for him. So, to see how nice it is. 
So I want a full area. I don't want to waste much, but sometimes you have to in order to get the best results. This much is so much better. So I will have to start cutting this extra area off. I want to maximize the use of this fabric because it was on sale for four dollars at Fabric District. For those who don't know, I live in Los Angeles, California currently. So there's that. crunch time. This is wedding crunch time. Perfect. So, I'm just going to pin this part back and I'm going to see how it looks after I cut it. As I still have this much left. go around these flowers to make the best.
all done with that one. Let's unpin and move it again because we will not be hemming this bad boy. There's no need. I have all these other fabrics, so to make it match, I have this shiny kind of white spandex. I don't really want to use this fabric, but um, if you can see the shine on this one, it's very pretty. But I feel like this is more for like beach wear. I have this brocade to go with it. If you can see here, uh, it's just very texturized and if there's too much texture maybe it won't look good. I am going to be using this mesh somehow either as a veil or not. We'll see. I might go in like this and just say I'm a guest and be like that's it. Then he'll be like kiss the bride. I think that would be really fun. So we'll see. I might adorn it with some, uh, some crystals. But the fabric that I'm probably going to end up using with it is this white cream crepe kind of taffeta and I got that for my Star Guardian Jana cosplay. I love the material. I think it's really great to work with. So we'll see. The fact that I'm doing a circle skirt means that I am going to get more volume at the bottom of the skirt. So I can have it build up. I hope this will look good on camera for my family, considering they don't live in LA so they can't just drive or fly to Vegas really easily. My family lives in Kentucky, my, his family lives in um, all over the United States. Again, I'm going to use this piece here, I'm going to move it down. Let's see what happens. Okay, there's that. That's, as you can see, that doesn't fit enough, but if I move it down, I might be able to get one more piece out of this. I'm not sure. I'm trying to maximize this fabric as much as possible. Right, so I can make four square pieces out of this material right now. Great, so this one is here, and I can get one more piece. Unfortunately, had I had done the other route, I don't think I would have had the shape that I wanted. since I have so much. If it's like 36, I might be able to. But from what it looks like, it's looking pretty okay. Worst case scenario, I just do it all in the brocade and taffeta, but I really want to use this material. I've been looking at it for a long time and I've been wanting to, so we'll see. So let's go ahead and cut it about like right here. Holding this is just really weird. Okay. 
Okay, time to pin it back. Where's my pins? And here we go. I'll move this to the side here. You probably watched some of the construction of the skirt right now, which is really important because the skirt is the biggest piece that is the newest piece, which looks like this. It's a giant rosette kind of thing. I added this silver tool that my friend Sherry gave me. She's like my con mom best friend and older and she gives me different advice than from what my parents give me. But she's a really cool person and all that stuff. So this is the actual skirt piece. It's rosettes. Every little circular inset I put a little crystal which you might have seen from here. This box from my Star Guardian and Jana videos. Maybe in the future I'll post those. And then I also use some purple lilac fabric as the waistband and other smaller crystals that I have, such as, as these crystals. So they radiate a little bit brighter and they're better. I use this skirt as a circle skirt because I wanted it to flow and be really thick and full without the look of a puffy dress so I wanted the fabric to really speak for itself and it made me feel like I was a cake and I was special and like a delicious treat if you guys are friends with me on Facebook you'll see in my wedding photo that the skirt is draped really long so it is by far like look it's taking up the entire screen it is a huge skirt um, there's that I was actually sewing myself into the skirt because I ripped the zipper oh, the day of my wedding. So there's a ripped zipper in the back that I do need to fix. So the top of my wedding dress is actually part of a cosplay. A while back, I made Krieger's Virtual Girlfriend from Archer on FX. And I modified this cosplay, so yeah, I kind of cheated it. This is a pattern, the 5006 that I modified. It is a corset pattern that's really nice. I used a white wedding brocade from Joann's. Um, and yeah, you can find this fabric there. It's, if you look here, this is the fabric itself. It's very nice and flowy. I added a, well, let me show you. I added a lot of lace here. And this lace looks like icing or like ice cream icicles should I say and I adorned them instead they, they used to be plain they used to be normal and there used to be a ribbon here if you've seen some of my pictures now there are crystals all along the top all along thank you all along the top here of the bodice there are some side small appliques that I added just to add dimension and then of course it is lined with booby cups inside so it gives added support. I also have boning channels that I made for this cosplay a while back and of course guess what this zipper is not broken so I did not have to make that. Together these two pieces make my wedding dress as you can see here. The fact that uh, Krieger's virtual girlfriend is wearing a wedding dress because they were supposed to get married allowed me to have so much free time to actually not worry about making a full dress from start to finish. I really love my dress. I worked on it nonstop and I'm really proud. This is my wedding ring. This is my wedding ring, focus. And it is actually the shape of a flower as you can see here. It's a blue diamond and I just, I think it represents my husband and I very much. If you guys didn't know, we are actually moving to Denmark soon. So I'm making as many videos as I can now before I won't have a chance to upload anything and sewing things. So if you have any questions about how I make this dress or how I made my skirt, let me know. I can repost my Krieger's Waifu's costume because this is this is a cosplay piece. This is not my dream co like wedding dress, unfortunately. But I loved it. Like, I think it stood out just fine. It was very me because I did put my own spin to this cosplay. Like, like 
Yes, it's an open crotch right here. Like, it's not a crotch, like it's a leotard. And then I wore this underneath and I wore bloomers and I still had a nice garter. So like, I, I definitely had the, the wedding aspect of it. So it's just like, nope, I was very covered. And like, there's the extra skirt, so it did give it a little bit of volume. I love brocade fabrics. And the fact that I was able to use this ribbon fabric in my wedding dress makes me really happy. I know some people think that it's really tacky because it's it's ribbon sewn on a really cheap material and it, it frays like stupid if you can see here. Like I cut it around it, not using pinking shears, I was really dumb. But I was rushing as you know and I spent all night adding different gems and hoping that when I walked down the aisleway, gems would fall off kind of leaving like a crystal trail and to me that's really special um i did make my veil i don't know where i put it it's not on the hanger currently so um there's that but my veil is actually a piece of chiffon that i found at uh michael levine's loft and it has pink glitter dots throughout it and it's really pretty and I just felt like my dress has to be sparkly. It has to be a little bit different. And the biggest thing of all is, you know, I made it from scratch. I can tell you that I'm really proud of myself for pushing myself this far. Oh, uh, before I forget, uh, this this is lined, like I said. This is not lined. Um, I would have loved to have lined it because after I took everything off and my hose and my bloomers and everything, like I had noticed this glitter tool right here, this silver glitter tool was all over my legs and all over my undergarments and I was like, nope, these hose are just going in the garbage. So it was really funny. This fabric I actually got in downtown LA on sale, which I've been looking for this fabric literally forever for a different cosplay, unfortunately, but yeah. Um, this outfit is definitely one of my most interesting things that I've made and if I had a chance to redo it all over, yeah I would, maybe, but under the time constraints, I really love what I have and such like that. And don't be afraid to try making your own wedding gown. Uh, if you have any questions, always just check YouTube. Crafting's not hard. If you have any questions now, leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in my next DIY video sort of thing. Okay, bye.